So hi again everyone, this is Ned Meat from the clan Elias, uh, bringing you three star attacks from our wars. Um, yeah, so I've got a few more for you here. Now this is uh, this is a little bit of an embarrassing situation, I have to say. This this war we lost this war, um, but it was it wasn't it wasn't to a clan that was better than us. We actually we did a lot of failed attacks. Um, actually, what I actually think happened, I actually think that one of their teammates came in and tied all the shoelaces of our troops because I think that all of our troops, when they were going into attacks, seemed to just be getting off on the wrong start. Um, but yeah, so uh, so that so not so proudly. We're, we've only got three three stars uh, in this war, but some good ones here. So I'm going to share them with you. Um, so the first one I'm going to share with you is Emil Halo Pro. It's uh, um, our, one of our upper play, one of our top players' second account. Um, so he attacked. Uh, this is Town Hall Eight. <clears throat> this was a second attack. Um, you can see his composition down the bottom there. He, he's got quite a lot of uh, archers and quite a lot of wizards as well. Um, but then also he's got one pecker. He's got another max pecker in his clan castle and two golems. Um, yeah, so he comes in from the bottom. We'll just play this straight away. Quite nice to see. I think I think probably because of the, the level 6 walls was why the go wipe on this worked so well. Quite interesting to see at this point as well that they that the the clan that we're up against did actually have quite a few just wizards in the clan castle, so just a poison spell was taking them out. Hence, another reason why we should have been we should have won the war actually. But anyway, things don't always go to plan now, do they? Yeah, cool. So he's taken out the clan castle there, and he's now coming in the top here with his golems. Breaking the holes through and laying his wizards down. Yeah, more wizards come. You'll see it's quite interesting here. So he's still... The Barb King's been taken out. He still hasn't deployed his Pekkas or his, uh, or his Barb King yet. Um, now we've seen that before in, in one of the other three stars that um, Shawnee... This is often something that Shawnee, one of our other uh, players, does. Um, he'll come in quite hard with his attacking force, but he still will. He'll hold back his peckers for quite a while. Um, in this situation, it makes sense a little bit as well because obviously the golems are being hacked by sla uh, splash damage. There's no point in those peckers losing losing damage as well. There's a lot of wizards to back the golems, so in the end, there's actually no point in bringing them in until they're needed, really. Here comes a Barb King now, going around the outside, but again, as I've shown in lots of our videos, that's not always a bad thing. You don't necessarily want to get all of your force right into the middle, because they'll be being hammered by all of the defences. The fact that actually some tough, uh, tough attackers go around the outside isn't, isn't such a bad thing. So he's in a very strong position here. He's pushing nicely. He's got he's got halfway through. He's still got both his golems. He's got both his peckers. He's got wizards in there as well. He's already starting to bring in the occasional archer to start cleaning up on the outside as well. So he's he's you know he's he's, he's in a good place. Yeah, there's no builders' huts in the corners or anything to take out. So literally, those eight archers are pretty obsolete. You can see down the down the side here. He's brought them in just to help out, take out one of those or those those last couple of defences. But uh, a quick and easy done job. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we have lots more Town Hall Eight and Town Hall Nine um, attacks in the channel. Um, and I'm going to keep on bringing more and sharing more as well. So subscribe and comment and like. And uh, yeah, and hope you enjoy.